Yeah, I got nothing. This team is moronic. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jared Gary Nye, representing the 904 from the 602, and today, we're talking about something that I didn't think we'd have to talk about. We're talking about something that we didn't have to talk about. If you want to see a Mac like we're today, oh, no, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. This takes priority because the Jaguars are stupid. The Jaguars are stupid. They just traded a sixth-round pick for Mac freaking Jones. Matt Jones, big time bust to New England, last three years, made the Pro Bowl in 2021, but has declined every single year, more interceptions and touchdowns last season, got benched for Bailey Zappi, he was absolutely terrible, he has no arm strength whatsoever, his pocket presence is abysmal, everything you don't want to see in a quarterback, Matt Jones has, and now he's our backup. Now he's our backup, and to make matters even worse, according to Jonathan Jones of CBS, who is very, very good, the Jaguars were the only team to put in an offer for the guy. So Matt Jones is now going to be backing up Trevor Lawrence for some inexplicable reason that I don't understand in the slightest bit. You got to love this team. You got to love Trent Bulky. First off, this team has a bunch of holes as it is. You know what one of them was not? Backup quarterback. Backup quarterback, C.J. Beathard, was more than capable. Now, instead of having nine picks to work with, you only have eight picks to work with. And that's less ammo in a trade-up for actual positions of need. There was talk during the combine that maybe the Jaguars were going to be in the market for a wide receiver trading up from pick 17, maybe inside the top 10. You might want to use that sixth round pick as part of your package. Or you have a pick in round three as a compensatory pick for the Jawan Taylor move, pick number 96, but you don't have an actual third round pick because you botched the Calvin Ridley situation. Let's say you want to move up from 96 to, let's say, 80 for a prospect you like. That sixth round pick will come in handy. Now you don't have it. Now you don't have it. Now you're completely stuck. Now that Trent Bulky knows how to trade. I mean, he had a ton of picks last year, and he didn't manage to make one single trade up with all those day three picks he had. So maybe it didn't mean anything. Maybe he didn't mean anything. You know what's also crazy about this? I wouldn't hate this move as a six-round pick for a better backup quarterback, but here's the thing. Matt Jones is not better. Matt Jones is not better than C.J. Beathard. C.J. Beathard, I'm not saying he's good by any means, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying C.J. Beathard's the franchise, I'm not saying if Trevor goes down, the Jags are going to be okay with C.J. Beathard, but if you ask me right now, one game, you ask me, who do I trust for one game, Mac Jones or C.J. Beathard, in terms of who won't make mistakes, who won't take horrible sacks, who will make the right decisions, I'm taking C.J. Beathard over Mac Jones right now, so you gave up a six-round pick to not even upgrade at the position. C.J. Beathard's a better backup than Matt Jones, and either way, you're screwed if Trevor goes down. This is not a move like when the Colts got Gardner Minshew. Colts get Gardner Minshew, Anthony Richardson goes down, it's like, you know what, you could actually win some games with Gardner Minshew, you're okay. If the Jaguars lose Trevor Lawrence, if Trevor Lawrence goes down and he's out for four to six weeks, Matt Jones is not going to save your season. Matt Jones is not going to go in and be as good or comparable to Trevor Lawrence. And for that reason, I don't know why you would trade a pick for a backup quarterback. On top of that, C.J. Beathard isn't even that old. It'd be different if Beathard was 36, 37 years old. No, he's only 31. He's only 31 years old. He is still in the prime of his career. And Matt Jones is a free agent next year. So we're obviously not picking up the fifth-year option. If you wanted a cheaper backup for salary cap reasons, or you didn't believe in Beathard, because clearly this shows that you don't believe in C.J. Beathard, because you wouldn't make this trade if you believed in C.J. Beathard, because you're not carrying three quarterbacks on the roster. If you wanted a cheaper backup, why didn't you just promote Nathan Rourke last year? Why did you completely mismanage that situation? So let me get this straight. You believe that C.J. Beathard is your QB2. You believe in that. You don't promote Nathan Rourke. Rourke then gets signed by the Patriots off of our practice squad, Beather comes in, starts that one game against Carolina where he plays decent. Not saying he played well, but he did what he had to do. Granted, it was against a joke of an NFL team, but he did what he had to do. Had that nice throw down the field in, I believe, the second quarter of the game. Didn't make too many mistakes. Yeah, he took a few sacks, couldn't step up in the pocket, but he played all right. For a backup quarterback, he played all right. But he played like a backup quarterback. He played like a decent QB, too. And now you're going to move on from him to bring on Mac Jones, a guy who's even worse? It doesn't make any sense. You lost a draft pick 
to get Matt Jones. You got a one-year rental for a backup quarterback that we don't need because C.J. Beathard is better that in 2025, the Jags are not bringing back. Matt Jones, here's what's going to happen. He either commands a contract more expensive than C.J. Beathard's in 2025, which we probably won't have room for, or he'll walk and he's not going to net a compensatory pick. The only way the Jags net a compensatory pick out of this is if Trevor Lawrence goes down, Matt Jones lights it up for whatever reason, and then we trade him, or he gets like a, a massive contract for a team that believes in him, which I, I can't see happening. What what evidence do you see that Matt Jones can be the guy? What evidence do you see? He's declined every single year. Last year, he was one of the worst quarterbacks I laid my eyes on. So you downgrade a backup quarterback, because you're not keeping C.J. Beathard after this, because you're not keeping three quarterbacks. You're not keeping three quarterbacks. Maybe maybe we keep three quarterbacks going into preseason, but for the 53-man roster, we're not keeping three. And if you do like C.J. Beathard, and this is a move to get a third quarterback, this is a really dumb way to go about it, because Matt Jones is costing you over a million dollars in cap space. Trevor Lawrence is costing you over a million in cap space. C.J. Beathard is costing you over a million in cap space. Three quarterbacks costing you over one million dollars in cap space each. That's a horrible way to construct a roster. So, obviously, I don't think they're keeping all three quarterbacks, and if they do... This is such a dumb way to do it. I wouldn't hate it if this was a conditional pick where the Jags would only give up the pick in 2025 if Mac Jones is on the roster. I wouldn't hate that, but it's not. We're giving up a sixth-round pick this year. We're giving up a sixth-round pick this year. So, Mac Jones, C.J. Beathard, one of them's not making the roster, and probably going to be Beathard who's not making the roster, even though he's better than Mac Jones, in my opinion. He's better. I mean, he showed he can run the offense to some extent. Mac Jones has shown absolutely nothing in the last two years in particular. So, we're moving on from C.J. Beathard, we downgrade a back of quarterback, and we lose a draft pick in the process when we don't exactly have a lot of picks to work with, and we have a ton of holes that were completely self-inflicted because the Jags had to upgrade a quarterback now because Darius Williams is no longer there, even though he had a very good season last year. We have to upgrade a wide receiver because we botched the Calvin Ridley situation. Those picks would be really nice to have, but nope. Gotta use one of them on Mac Jones and upgrade at a position that we don't need to upgrade at. And by upgrade, I mean downgrade because Mac Jones is absolutely terrible. I talked a lot about why Mac Jones is bad. I talked about his trade value in a previous video of mine. I'll leave a link in the upper right corner and in the description. So go check that out if you haven't already. But I never thought the Jags would trade for Mac Jones. I gotta be completely honest. I never thought the Jags would trade for Mac Jones whatsoever. I thought Mac Jones would go to a team that had a ton of draft picks and a ton of cap space where it's a no-risk situation and a team that needs a backup quarterback slash third-string guy. Not Jacksonville. Jacksonville does not fit that criteria whatsoever. His cap hit is basically the same as C.J. Beathard's. His play is worse than C.J. Beathard's. Why would you do this, Trent Bulky? Why the heck would you do this? I don't get it in the slightest bit. Mac Jones' value is down the drain. And why you give him a sixth-round pick? especially because you were the only team to put an offer, so you outbid yourself. Could have given, given up a 7th-round pick, but no, I had to give a 6th-round pick. You outbid yourself. It's like if you are at an auction, the bidding starts at $10, and you, and you bid 20 and no one else is bidding on it. Congratulations, you just outbid yourself. And that's what Trent Bulky did here, because Trent Bulky's a horrible GM, and the Jaguars are a horribly run organization. So, yeah, Matt Jones, the new backup quarterback on the Jaguars. I got nothing. Trent Bulky's a moron. Fire Bulky. This team is going to be terrible next year. This team is going to be terrible. As decisions like this that give me no hope for the 2024 season, as decisions that Trent Bulky's made this entire offseason, I think with the exception of restructuring Sheriff's contract, restructuring, and bringing back Daniel Thomas, I don't think there's a single decision of the 10 or so that Bulky's made so far this offseason that I've agreed with or I thought was the right one. Good job. Way to mismanage the quarterback situation. But what are your thoughts on Matt Jones coming to Jacksonville? What are your thoughts on all this? Why do the Jaguars hate me? And that's going to do it for this episode of JJ9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe to help the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out my main channel, Jaguar Gear 9, where we talk about actual competent organizations and we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jaguar Gear 9 signing off. And as always, oh man, I can't even say it. Holy cow, this team irritates the living crap out of me.